Okay, so I am Zuhur Islam. So once again, welcome to my uh, lecture regarding antibiotics. So this is another group of antibiotics which is called Colorum Penicol. Colorum Penicol, this is the group of antibiotic which you can say broad spectrum, broad spectrum antibiotic as well as bacteriostatic. So it should be reserved as the last resort due to fatal adverse effects which are reported. Normally, the Colorum Penicols, they are responsible to inhibit, to stop the protein synthesis, thus it decreases the bacterial replications because bacteria is always trying to make copy of himself. Whenever uh, this drug can be applied, so after uh, administration of this drug, uh, the basic mechanism or mode of action of Colorum Pinnacol is to decrease the protein synthesis. And this protein productions it become fatal and it become toxic. So you can say uh, we are going to destroy this protein with the help of this drug. So it block the protein synthesis by inhibiting the bacterial replication. The bacteria become unable to make copy of himself. Uh, Colorum pinnacle, they are used in the treatment of variety of infection like enteric fever and serious infection such as H, influenza, helicobacter, uh, hemophilus influenza, uh, you can say, uh, hemophilus influenza, meningitis or you can say anaerobic brain abscess. So these are the conditions, uh, these are the uh, uh, complications or you can say these are the conditions which you can easily use, uh, which you can recommend it. This drug can be used in the treatment of variety of infection like enteric fever, serious infection, in the H influenza, meningitis and anaerobic brain and abscess. Uh, after that, uh, we will try to um, clear each and everything. Now, these are the side effects which are reported by chloramphenicol. There may be chances of hematological disorder. There may be chances of bone marrow suppressions uh, like uh, aplastic anemia. So, it means that uh, chloramphenicol has a wide range of uh, you can say side effect which are refuted. So we can say uh, let's suppose if chlorum pinnacol they are using so after the administration uh, there may be chances of hematological disorders like it may cause bone marrow suppressions and as well as it can inhibit the RBC maturation red blood cell formation it may cause hemolysis. So bone marrow suppression is the major side effect which is reported after administration of chloramphenicol as well as it causes cyanosis and hypersensitivity which is very common almost uh, the other group members of beta lictams. Uh, hypersensitivity it is all uh, this is also the side effect which is reported after uh, use of this drug. Uh, contraindications uh, uh, so uh, contra these are the drugs it cannot be given in this condition so chloram pinnacol it cannot be used for the you can say for the prophylactic use before treatment of microorganisms or it cannot be used in hypersensitivity so there are some patients who are allergic to uh, this group so uh, you can change uh, the uh, this group uh, Mm, and you may use any other agents and chloram pinnacle they are also contraindicated in pregnancy there may be chances of teratogenesis TK developmental abnormality and lactation this drug is cannot be recommended lactation this drug is also contraindicated in lactation so look at here uh, this is um, this is the basic nursing care so this drug can be used cautiously in infants children and patient with a history or family history of bone marrow suppressions. So it cannot be recommended in a condition like this. Take oral drug with full glass of water on empty stomach and monitor the chlorum pinnacol blood levels. So uh, as well as you will have to check the CBC complete blood count before and during after therapy uh, which is mandatory. Never use for minor infections or when safer drugs are available. If safer drugs are available so never, never use for the minor infections.